We are going to talk about German volume training or GVT for short. Now many years ago, back when I had a bit of a different boy band haircut, I made a, a video on GVT and basically the premise of it was people would often fuck it up. They would do their own version of it which wasn't quite the same thing. And this video ended up being surprisingly popular. So when I heard that there was a new study on GVT which examined its effects on muscle growth and strength, I was all over it like a rash. Now to date, there has been no scientific study which has examined the effectiveness of GVT. There has been anecdotal um, reports from strength coaches, personal trainers, people that have tried it themselves, but no actual scientific study on it. So I was very, very keen to get stuck into the text on this. So let's get straight into it. What I'm going to do is put the program at the bottom and let you read and listen at the same time. So group A, group B. Group A did a 10 by 10, the GVT rep set scheme. Group B did a 5 by 10 on the first two exercises. The rest of the accessory work was kept the same. So the only difference was 10 by 10 on the first couple of exercises or 5 by 10 on the first couple of exercises. Now this was a three time per week protocol. Chest and back on day one, legs on day two, shoulders and arms on day three. And it was, the study lasted six weeks. So there were 18 workouts in total. Now, the 10 by 10 group had less muscle growth at the end of six weeks and less of an increase in muscular strength as examined by bench press numbers at the bottom, lat pull down, and leg press. So despite the fact that the GVT group did more reps, had a higher training volume at the end of six weeks, they had worse muscle growth and worse strength increases. That is the take home message. That is basically the conclusion from this. However, there are some considerations that I think it is important for you guys to know. Now, first things first, Participant training age was approximately, not exactly, but approximately four years. So if someone has been training for 10 years or 20 years, will this apply to them in the same regard? You could argue that you couldn't apply this to them. And that would be a reasonable argument to make. It doesn't necessarily mean that someone who's been training 10 years would find GVT better, but we cannot necessarily apply this to people who have been training longer. Secondly, and this is a really, really important one. This is not an exact German volume training program. It is a modified GVT scheme. So for example, normal GVT was three workouts over a five day period and then repeated. So over a 10 day period, they would train six times, etc. Whereas this was three workouts over a seven day period. So in the same six week period, the participants in this study had less fewer total workouts than they would if they had followed the original German volume training program to the letter. Also, the exercise choice was different. So for example, in the leg program, you will have noticed or may have noticed leg press and dumbbell lunges versus something like squats and leg curl. So this is not an exact GVT study. There are differences. There are differences in tempo, there's difference in training frequency, there's a difference in exercise selection. So hardcore GVT fans might write off the study and put their fingers in their ears, and that's fine. Now, what you have essentially witnessed from the study is despite the higher training load, the GVT people doing 10 by 10 had worse results. So you've essentially witnessed overtraining, where five by 10 gave them this result, but as they trained more, their results actually decreased. So if you had someone who had won the genetic lottery perhaps, or if you had someone with a high training age, there will be or may be people that have better results with 10 by 10. We are looking at pooled data, not necessarily in inter-individual differences from this research. Now, hardcore GVT fans might say, if you tested their one rep max a week or two after the end of the protocol, that it might have rebounded and gone back up, as in participants might have been a kind of temporarily overtrained state. And again, that would be a perfectly reasonable argument to make. So I think what's likely to happen with this, people that hate GVT will probably say it's worse than five by 10, it's too much volume, there's no benefit. 
people who love GVT will look at the flaws of it and maybe stick their fingers in their ears and pretend that their version is much better. And you know, that's, that's perfectly fine. So generally speaking, from this study, people that did five by 10 had better results in muscle growth and muscle strength than people that did the 10 by 10 protocol. Do with it what you will. So I hope you found it interesting. If you've got any questions, my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter's personal training. My Twitter and Instagram pages are both BDC Carpenter. Thank you for watching. Bye.